Hi, this is Jen from CookiesCupcakesAndCardio.com, and I am here today to show you how to how to do a reverse shell border using your tip number 21, like I have here. The first step is to, on the edge of your cake, you're going to squeeze pressure, build up, build up, and curve to the left. Release and pull away. The next one is just the same thing, build up and curve to the right. And repeat. Build up, curve around, release. The other way. You want to make sure that throughout this border you keep your bag in the same position. A very handy tip for this such of an activity and if you're doing a star cake is to keep the number of the bag of the tip, sorry, in the exact same position throughout your activity. So whenever you have to lift up or change tips, make sure your bag, sorry, your tip is in the same spot throughout. So we're just going all the way around, building up pressure and curving in opposite directions each time. So when you're doing this border, you want to make sure that each shell is a uniform size and shape. So just try to make sure you have the tail the same length each time. And I'm just using a classic buttercream recipe. It has about four cups of icing sugar, um, half a cup of butter, some vanilla, and about a third of a cup of cocoa to give it that nice chocolate texture or taste. So as we come to the end here, we just want to make sure we join it up just like that. Okay, so we're moving on down to the bottom now and I'm still using my same tip. I'm going to line it up in the same position that I had on the upper level and we're just starting building up and turning up and around. For this type of border or any of the shell borders you can use any of the star tips. I just prefer this one because it's substantial enough that you're not spending a ton of time icing the cake and once you get really into um, a good rhythm you can just whip through it quite quickly. Anything a little bit smaller than this star tip just takes you a little bit more time but if you're doing intricate work on a star cake then it makes a good difference differentiation with the different sizes you can get nice effects using different size stars it's a little bit harder on the bottom here with the plate in the way but you're just same same idea building and turning alternating left to right all the way around your cake this cake has been pre-iced and it's covered in a chocolate buttercream you want to make sure that you have your icing as smooth as you can get it if you're just doing a buttercream cover and I'll be doing some videos on that too, so watch for those. So we're nearing the end again. You want to slow down a bit and match up those shells. So there you have it. That's the reverse shell border. Thanks for watching. Make sure you join us in our YouTube channel and sign up for our subscription.